identify hormonal deficiencies and imbalances? This is an important question. You see, many practitioners trained in the use of bioidentical hormones rely a little too heavily on laboratory tests to guide them in establishing which hormones in a patient's body are not functioning at optimal levels. Now, these lab tests are most commonly carried out by an analysis of the blood, saliva, or a 24-hour urine test. The problem is that lab reports can be confusing. You see, hormones are by far and away the most powerful molecules in the human body. They affect every tissue and every system. In fact, every aspect of health and well-being. And it's impossible to test the action of any one specific hormone in the body directly. As a result, too many practitioners rely on these lab reports, which can often be confusing. The hormone reference ranges that they give are little more than population statistics, including two standard deviations from the mean, which is 95% of a group of, quote, apparently healthy, unquote, adults. But, as endocrinologist Henry Lidner, MD, points out, the subjects are frequently little more than employees and friends and relatives who themselves have been screened for symptoms of deficiency. So, the lowest 2.5% of this unscreened adult population is defined as low. Then, a physician might tell a patient with so-called, quote, low normal, end of quote, levels, say within the fifth percentile, that his or her symptoms are caused by a hormone deficiency. And this is even though 95% of adults have higher levels. Such a reference-ranged approach can easily fail to identify disjunctions in the endocrine system, which makes it virtually impossible to identify hormonal deficiencies that can be occurring as a result of chronic stress, environmental poisons, poor diet, and deterioration due to aging. Lidner asks another important question about all of this, quote, why don't endocrinologists offer a symptomatic patient with, quote, low normal, unquote, levels, a trial hormone supplementation to see if higher, quote, normal, unquote, levels relieve their symptoms? I find, he says, they're unaware of the literature, for instance, about the benefits of higher thyroid, testosterone, DHEA, estradiol, and progesterone within the population ranges, unquote. This is often one of the consequences of practitioners holding false beliefs about possible harms of hormone optimization. Like Thierry Hertog, both Henry Lindner and David Brownstein, who actually is another expert in bioidentical hormones, whose work I particularly admire, they all agree that although laboratory tests can be of use, it is at least as essential maybe even more so, that a physician listens carefully to the complaints and systems that each and every prospective patient experiences. Take hypothyroidism. Here are some common symptoms associated with hypothyroidism as a result of even a minor deficiency in thyroid hormone. Obesity, for instance, and difficulty losing weight, infertility, hypercholesterolemia, poor memory, headaches and migraines, intolerance to cold, infections, ovarian cysts, fatigue. All of these things are so important. And a combination of laboratory tests and listening carefully to the specific symptoms and concerns that a patient has when being consulted by a physician trained in the use of bioidenticals is a good way to go for planning treatment. Another important question for anyone who's being guided by a skillful practitioner is this. Are there ways of eating and drinking that can help support a body's glands for the best possible health creation and results while using bioidentical hormones prescribed? The answer is, there are indeed. Your body's hormonal system does not work alone. Using top-quality minerals, vitamins, trace elements, and amino acids will exert a positive influence on both hormone utilization and hormone production. 
It's also important to make sure getting the very, very best nutrition possible in regard to the foods you choose to eat, as well as the nutritional supplements that you choose to take. I think that this has never been more important, given the widespread pollution in our environment now and all of the dreadful convenience foods that ill-informed people continue to buy from supermarket shelves and feed on with no idea how destructive these foods can be for their own health and the health of their families. Good diet and healthy exercise are also essential in creating hormonal balance and restoring your youthful vibrancy. Okay, what are the most important nutritional supplements? Well, here are a few which you need to know. Both niacin and vitamin C help lower blood lipid, that is, fat levels. L-glutamine can decrease carbohydrate cravings, while the trace element chromium can help to both lower insulin levels in the blood and to reduce sugar cravings. Equally essential are vitamins D3 plus K2 and magnesium. I personally find the best way when choosing nutritional supplements is to go for top quality food-based multiple vitamins. Alternatively, what I often suggest to people working with me on Cura Romana whose systems had become depleted of top quality nutrients when beginning their inner circle program, they can often benefit greatly by using an exceptionally powerful nutritional supplement such as Life Extension Mix Capsules or Life Extension Mix Powder. What these are are advanced state-of-the-art multiple vitamins that are vastly superior to most on the market. For, in addition to carefully chosen vitamins, they also provide a broad array of important fruit and vegetable extracts, plus many essential minerals and other important elements. Now, what about foods? Although each human being is unique, it's important for all of us to remember this truth. It can take 100,000 years for a human being to adapt to new ways of eating. Sadly, the way of eating that most people these days follow relies on convenience foods, which along with junk foods are the easiest way to rapidly undermine your health. Many people these days, I find, cannot handle cow's products, including cheese, yogurt, cream, and milk. I've also found that a vast majority of people whom I work with are not adapted to handle grains of any kind unless these grains have been sprouted first. And of course, we all know that sugar is deadly for your health. It contributes to an overgrowth of bacteria and yeast in your body, and it undermines the proper functioning of hormones. You see, I think what we all need in order to help bioidentical hormones thrive is plenty of top quality, preferably organic, meat, fresh eggs, seafood from unpolluted waters, some low sugar fruits like berries, and plenty, and I mean plenty, of organically grown vegetables. The foods you choose to eat play such an important part in your hormonal balance and well-being, sometimes in very specific ways. For instance, eating more top-quality proteins can increase your ACTH levels quite naturally. Finally, here are a few wonderful foods for high-level well-being and optimal hormonal balance. Kale, wild salmon, spinach, broccoli, asparagus, extra virgin olive oil, organic coconut oil, butter that comes from cows that have at least for part of their lives grazed on green grass. I hope in this Sacred Truth video that I've been able to cover a few of the important aspects of bioidentical hormones and how best to support them. And by doing so, how best to enhance your well-being now and for years to come. Next week, we'll look specifically at one of the most important and least understood conditions and find out how bioidentical hormones that are well chosen can transform thyroid issues. Do join us then. Mm -hmm.